This video is about competitive rivalry and competitive dynamics. Competitive rivalry explains what factors drive firms to be bitter rivals or frenemies. Competitors are firms operating in the same market, offering similar products and targeting similar customers. Competitive rivalry is the ongoing set of competitive actions and responses occurring between individual competitors. Competitive dynamics is the total set of actions and responses taken by all firms competing within a market. Competitor analysis is used to help a firm understand its competitors. The firm studies competitors' future objectives, current strategies, assumptions, and capabilities. With the analysis, a firm is able to better predict the competitor's behaviors when forming its competitive actions and responses. Competitive action is a strategic or tactical action the firm takes to build or defend its competitive advantages or improve its market position. Competitive response is a strategic or tactical action the firm takes to counter the effects of a competitor's competitive action. A strategic action is a market-based move that involves a significant commitment of organizational resources and is difficult to implement in reverse, such as building a new factory. A tactical action is a market-based move that's taken to fine-tune a strategy that involves fewer resources and is relatively easy to implement or reverse, such as changing prices. Now let's build a competitive rivalry model. First up, competitive analysis. Market commonality is concerned with the number of markets with which a firm and a competitor are jointly involved and the degree of importance of the individual markets to each competitor. Firms competing against one another in several or many markets engage in a multi-market competition. A firm with greater multi-market contact is less likely to initiate an attack, but more likely to respond aggressively when attacked in an effort to protect its position in one or more markets. For instance, you can see this in airline routes to various cities. If an airline expands to a new city, then that would be an attack on the existing airlines there. Uh, similarly, a restaurant chains that are operating in overlapping cities uh, would have multi-market contact. Resource similarity is how comparable the firm's tangible and intangible resources are to a competitor in terms of both types and amounts. Firms with similar types and amounts of resources are likely to have similar strengths and weaknesses and use similar strategies. Assessing resource similarity can be difficult if critical resources are intangible rather than tangible. This allows us to create a competitor analysis framework where we have resource similarity and market commonality. Now in the upper right in quadrant one is going to have the highest rivalry of these four, while down here in quadrant three will have the lowest rivalry. Two and four will be somewhere in the middle. Now we turn to drivers of competitive behavior. First of all, we have awareness. The extent to which a competitor is recognized the degree of their mutual independence, that is competitive threat, that results from the market commonality and resource similarity they share with competitors. Motivation is the firm's incentive to take an action or to respond to a competitor's attack, their action, and it relates to perceived gains and losses. Finally, capability each firm's resources and the flexibility that those resources provides. Without available resources, the firm lacks the ability to either attack a competitor or respond to a competitor's actions. The greater the resource advantage between acting firm and competitors, the greater the delay in response by the firm with a resource disadvantage. However, when facing competitors with greater resources or more attractive market positions, firms should eventually respond no matter how challenging the response. Next, we turn to the likelihood of action. Now, a first mover is a firm that takes an initial competitive action in order to build or defend its competitive advantage or to improve its market position. First movers allocate funds for product innovation and development, aggressive advertising, advanced R&D, and first movers can gain the loyalty of customers who may become committed to the firm's goods or services, 
and market share that can be difficult for competitors to take away during future competitive rivalry. A second mover responds to the first mover's competitive action, typically through imitation. It studies customers' reactions to the product's innovations and tries to find any mistakes the first mover made and avoid them. This allows them to avoid both the mistakes and the huge R&D expense of being a first mover. They may also develop more efficient processes and technology as a result of this. Late movers responds to a competitive action only after considerable time has elapsed. Any success achieved will be slow in coming and much less than achieved by first and second movers. Late movers competitive action allows it to earn only average returns and delays its understanding of how to create value for customers. Small firms tend to be nimble and flexible competitors. They rely on speed and surprise to defend competitive actions or develop new ones while engaging in competitive rivalry. They have the flexibility needed to launch a greater variety of competitive actions, and they're more likely to launch competitive actions and be faster to doing so. So while small firms are more likely to have a greater diversity of competitive actions, large firms are likely to initiate more total competitive actions during a given time period due to having slack that is extra unused resources. However, they're usually slower to respond to strategic actions due to greater bureaucracy. Now remember, these are tendencies of small and large firms and large firms can try to act small and small firms can try to act large as seen in this quote. Now we'll look at the likelihood of response. In factors that affect response, first we have the type of competitive action. Strategic actions receive strategic responses and tactical actions receive tactical responses. Strategic actions elicit fewer competitive responses and the responses are slower due to the time needed to assess and implement a strategic action. Tactical actions, however, usually receive a quick response. Firm's reputation is also important. A firm will study the response that a competitor has taken previously when attacked to predict likely responses. Reputation also includes any positive or negative attributes ascribed by one rival to another based on past competitive behavior. Market dependence is the extent to which a firm's revenues or profits are derived from a particular market. Competitors with high market dependence are likely to respond strongly to attacks threatening their market position. Now we've built a full model of competitive rivalry. We've talked about competitive analysis, driver competitive behavior, and the likelihood of attack and response. So these all funnel into eventual outcomes in changes in market position and financial performance for the focal firm and their competitors. This then feeds back into uh, future competitive analysis and the cycle continues. Finally, let's talk about competitive dynamics and the market cycle speed. First, we have standard. Imitation takes moderate periods of time and is costly. Consider the automotive industry, but really this is true of most industries. Firms seek large market shares, they gain customer loyalty through brand names, and they carefully control operations. By comparison, you have slow. Imitation takes long periods of time and is very costly. For instance, utilities. Firms concentrate on competitive actions and responses to protect, maintain, and extend their proprietary competitive advantage. On the flip side, you have fast. Imitation happens quickly and is less costly. Think of apps. Competitors can use reverse engineering to quickly imitate or improve products, and firms are in a constant race where a lead can quickly disappear. In summary, we have competitive rivalry and competitive dynamics. Rivalry is always gonna be between two firms. Even though competitive action often influences more than one firm. Uh, rivalry, as we discuss it, is always gonna consider the action and response between two individual firms. This is influenced by market commonality, resource similarity, awareness, motivation, and capability of firms, and first mover incentives and firm size. Competitive dynamics is at the industry level. It's influenced by the aggregate of all the firm rivalries in the industry, and market cycle speed. And of course, competitive rivalry affects strategy. The success of a strategy is determined by the firm's initial competitive actions, 
how well it anticipates competitors' responses to them, and how well the firm anticipates and responds to its competitors' initial actions. Competitive rivalry affects all types of strategies, and it primarily influences business-level strategy. That is, it doesn't influence corporate-level strategy that we'll discuss in another lecture. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch another one right now and learn even more. Or subscribe for future videos. If you have any questions about this topic, leave them in the comments and they may be featured in an upcoming Q&A video.